Uh, I'm Dr Frank Atherton, I'm the Chief Medical Officer for Wales and part of my responsibility at the moment is to help the NHS and the health and social care system uh, to prepare for the impact of Brexit. So of course there's been a lot of work to prepare for uh, Brexit uh, through the health and social care system and one of the things we've been having to look at is the impact on food supplies. Very important of course both to the NHS estate and to the social care sector. Uh, we don't believe that there is likely to be any uh, reduction in the amount of food available. We don't believe people will be going hungry in the UK. But it may well be uh, that we face a shortage of fresh fruit and produce uh, over a short period of time. And so we've been starting to think about the implications of that and how we could prepare for that. We have many EU nationals working here in Wales. They're the bedrock of our health and social care system in many ways. And they continue to be welcome to work with us here in Wales. Uh, the UK Settled Status Scheme is really important and uh, uh, EU nationals are welcome to continue to apply for that uh, them for, uh, for themselves and for their families. Uh, we hope that EU nationals will continue to work and support the health and the social care system here in Wales. Our expectation is that the qualifications that people currently are working under will continue to be recognised. Uh, now there's some uncertainty around that but we're going to work with the UK government to make sure that that happens and if necessary we'll bring in the legislation in Wales that we need.